Hey, what's going on, chess lover? This is Maurice Bishop, chess. So y'all know my slogan, life is a game of chess. All right, guys, I want to share with y'all a beautiful attacking game that I played against um, a strong player, uh, Consel Eax. I think that's his name, E-A-X. Uh, he was actually a, a 2300 player, but I, uh, you know, took some of his rating points and all. So without further ado, we actually going to get started. All right, so... Um, I play e4, he played d6, uh, d4, uh, c6. Um, I play knight c3, he played g6. Now, guys, I, I don't really show this very often and everything. I know a lot of y'all, when somebody played a perk on you, you might play the sandwich um, variation where you uh, where you actually go f3 and then bishop e3 and queen d2. Uh, I actually did something very different. Um, I actually like playing h4 right away, and uh, when he went bishop g7, I just went h5 automatically. Uh, when he goes knight f6, I go h6, and you know, look at the Harry the H pawn, like Ginger G. I'm always say. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see in his position after h6, the bishop is back to square one on f8, and it's just going to sit there for a minute, right? So I continue to do my development with uh, Bishop C4. But before I uh, go into this, I, I want to tell y'all my mindset and my whole concept of what I'm doing to my opponent. Remind you guys, I'm not really playing any book opening move. Obviously, you know, the engine may say this is uh, this opening and this. But a lot of times if I play something, you know, it's not something that I know off, off the um off the rip, you know, uh, as far as book moves wise. Um, I just look at the position, I just analyze it, and I just do what I do. So by me going a6, I've realized if I could get this bishop back to f8, you know, I have him starting from square one, and to actually uh, get all my pieces into the fight where I can start a great attack. Also, another reason why I did this a6 move is also to prevent the black king from castling on the king side. Um, and it's not even just prevent him from castling. I, I just want him, I don't want him to castle at all. I just want him to stay in the center of the board where my attack will fear or fearlessly, you know, grow. All right. Um, so that's why I did. So, um, I go bishop c4. Remind you guys, um, he doesn't have, usually he would have two pieces out with the bishop on g7 and knight f6. But because I took that tempo away by going to h6, um, I, I took that away from him. So now I have two pieces development or two pieces develop and now I'm in lead of development right now. Um, queen c7 and I go queen f3. Y'all probably like, what the heck is this? You trying to do a fool's me? No, guys, I'm not doing a fool's me. And again, this is not a book. Or I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is a book move, but I don't know. I I'm looking at, you know, sooner or later, I would like to go E5, you know, maybe uh, hit on Bishop uh, G5 uh, with Bishop captures F6, you know, really opening up the king side. So this is stuff that I'm looking at. Also, at the same time, guys, uh, I, I moved to Queen F3. It it's not just to move the queen f3 i want to uh move or i want to castle queen side as fast as possible so i can start an attack and that's pretty much what i'm going for uh, my opponent goes b5 and i go bishop b3 you're probably wondering what is black playing in this position to be honest with you uh i think in this position i think black is trying to uh, call some havoc on the queen side so he can have some play due to the fact that this bishop on f8 is causing him a problem because he's stuck right now. You know what I mean? And as you can see, uh, I mean, this bishop has some play, but this knight uh, is kind of limited right now. Uh, I don't really have limited squares right now. So um, that also could be a problem, which is why my opponent probably just did a6. Um I go e5. Now, obviously, guys, uh, when I was analyzing this, obviously the engine said that was the wrong move. Uh, the thing is, guys, uh, when I play, I like to confuse my opponent, and I don't just give up pawns just to give up pawns at all. You know, th there's a reason uh, for my madness, you know. I, th th there's always a reason why I'm doing it. So um, the whole point of e5, guys, is um, once I get this d pawn out the way, and then maybe potentially go bishop f4. 
I wanted to castle queenside or maybe just move the rook d1 where I can have this d file open. And again, the king is still in the center of the board, which is what I'm looking at. You know, so if any guy, if any of y'all guys, if y'all watching this and y'all want to be strong attackers, you need to develop your pieces as fast as possible and seek the initiative as fast as possible. So he captures, he takes, uh, he gives me a check, right? He gives me a check, right? So look at this, guys. Now I have three pieces developed. Yes, my piece is pinned, but it won't be pinned for long. It's like temporarily. So, and, and that's the reason for it. And then also I'm threatening bishop at four. Uh, and then eventually I'll be able to uh, castle queenside, right? So obviously my opponent is trying to get some play, right? Bishop g4. Uh, I go queen d3. Uh, I don't have to worry about any rook moves because, again, this bishop is still back here. It still can't do anything. Uh, obviously, uh, it, it's, <laughs> it, it's causing him some problems right now. Uh, my opponent actually plays b4, which is actually a good move. Uh, but I go bishop f4. Uh, now, look at this position, guys. Now, it almost looked like the queen is trapped. You know, that's what it really looks like. But the queen is not trapped. Uh, the queen can actually move um to queen a5 or whatever but i think my opponent you know i'm not sure what he was thinking but or maybe he was thinking right i mean the move he did wasn't bad um he did go bishop capture e2 um obviously guys i can't take with the queen because uh he'll win this on um, dark square bishop so i had to take that with knight captures e2 um defending my like um defending my dark square bishop you know, and at the same time, you know, I got to defend it, you know. Uh, and yes, he does uh, take my point on B2, um, prevent myself from castling and queenside, which still wasn't a problem at all. So what I did is I just got myself out the center of the board because I wanted to castle. I feel like all my pieces are developed, as y'all can see, guys. Now, look at this. Now, it looks like, you know, he won some pawns, you know, things like that. But just really look at this position, guys. Look at how this bishop is still stuck right now. This knight still not developed. This rook is still there. Yes, my rook is still there, but I can easily uh, make any foul move with one move. You know, he has to develop his piece first and then do it, right? So this is the reason why I have an advantage um, in this position. Uh, knight d7, which is a logical move because that's what he has to do. Uh, and I go queen c4. Now, obviously, uh, I, I don't even know why the engine said that this was a mistake. I, I don't know why this would be a mistake uh, in this position. Um, I, I really don't know why. Well, I know I know the engine was saying the best move uh, was like, I think, knight g3. But, you know, I like queen c4 because, number one, I'm threatening queen catcher c6. But I'm also threatening queen catchers um, f7. You know where he has to defend so he goes e6 to prevent me from going queen captures f7 and because of that i regain a pawn back by going queen capture c6 but also i'm attacking his rook at the same time uh he goes rook d8 and i go rook a d1 you know putting pressure on a d file you know uh like i said i still got knight d4 moves guys you know, it, it's just a lot of things that's going on right now, you know. And again, this bishop is still, like, stuck right now, you know. I mean, obviously, he wouldn't be stuck right now because he got bishop e7, which is where he goes. But then I hit him with something else, guys. I hit him with bishop captures e6. And, of course, the end said this is a mistake as well. Um, I I beg to differ um, on with this at all. Uh, to be honest with you guys, um. Black can't castle. Uh, I just want to show you. Black can't castle because of Bishop captures d7. Uh, so he won't be able to uh, like do that because I'll, I'll win a piece. So that just can't happen. All right. So um, so after uh, Bishop e7, uh, I actually, again, I'm I, I, somehow I just messed this up. Uh, bishop captures e6, uh, f captures e6, uh, queen captures e6, and um, as you can see, um, black still can't castle kingside. 
Uh, yes, the king could go uh, king f8, uh, which is something that he um, could do. Um, but he didn't do it. Uh, I mean, I, I still got like rookie one tricks, uh, maybe knight d4, uh, which is also um, a really sharp move as well, threatening um, knight c6, uh, which is which is a move that I was also planning on doing. Um, yeah, if he went if he went king f8, uh, my next move would have been uh, knight d4. All right, but uh, he didn't do that. Uh, he goes queen capture c2. I go knight d4. Uh, queen c5, then knight c6. Uh, obviously, he did a total blunder, guys. And uh, obviously, guys, as, as y'all could tell, uh, this is me. But I didn't, I didn't want to mate him right away. Uh, I, as y'all can see, I was pretty much good on time. I was um, pretty much dominating. So I pretty much uh, was, you know, just torturing him right now. So instead of um, mating him, guys, I just did knight captures d8. Still threatening checkmate right here. So I pretty much was making him suffer. And I probably should have just got the game over with, but I, you know, I was having too much fun. Um, he goes knight d7. Uh, I go back to knight c6. Um, he goes rook f d or rook h to um, f8. And then, guys, I just hit him with another banger uh, with bishop d6. Um, I thought he was going to resign or whatever, but he just didn't resign. He was not giving up. So after uh, f7, uh, I just go um, bishop capture um, c5. And uh, knight capture c5. And, of course, guys, by him doing that, this is still checkmate, but I still wasn't. <laughs> I was just really playing with him. Um, bishop d8. And then, guys, I just did a rook f um, the e1 check. Uh, and, again, I could have just made him with rook capture d8. But um, he wound up. Um, I believe he lost on time. But I think he was about to resign. But, uh I think he just lost on time. Oh, actually, no. He actually... Wait a minute. I think he actually resigned. Yeah, I think he actually just resigned as simple as that. But anyway, I wanted to show you all this game. Not for me just to show you all how I toy with the person. But I just wanted to show you, you know, the attacks and, you know, um, my, my, my mindset of what I was doing when I was attacking. And everything. So, I actually hope y'all actually enjoy um, this video. Um, definitely uh, like, share, comment. Uh, let me know what you think. And also, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All right, guys. Peace.